Hello, Enzan. Uh, I'm just still setting up here. I got a few minutes before we start. Um, almost had a panic attack because OBS wasn't talking to uh, YouTube. Still learning. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Don't think I can use any rubber stamps. What do I got here? I got five, one, and three. Yep. Pencil, white paint. Don't think I'll use white paint here. Oh, all right, three minutes. One minute, and then we start. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about, as it just hit seven, um, I picked up the first issue of the new Conan series from uh, Heroic Signatures, uh, distributed by Titan. Uh, that's a standard. Apparently, Dan Pinozian drew like an 18 by 24 cover, so whoever bought that is got to be so happy. Um, the book is absolutely gorgeous. Second issue is supposed to be out, I think, maybe the end of next week. But one of the... <laughs> I bought more than one copy. I bought one of, one of the issues I bought, first issue I bought, has the new map of, the, of uh, Conan's world. Uh, his age of uh, the Hyborian kingdoms. And um, rumor has it they're going to do a poster, and if they do a poster, I am going to get it in my studio so fast. I am such a Conan geek. So, yeah, I got that. I got, uh, there's some covers I, I just avoided getting because it was just too much. But there's also this really, really, really gorgeous black and white cover um, by Roberto De La Torre. <laughs> He's getting all that that um, 
that Bushima Conan stuff uh, going in me. Just such beautiful black and white work. It's so brushy and everything. Um, but I also got, I just grabbed one. Um, I could have grabbed a couple more. Maybe I'll go back and track some down. So I had some friends who bought a bunch. I'm not a huge fan of sketch covers. Uh, I penciled this out uh, just before I went on stream here. I'm not a huge fan of, of sketch covers because, um, generally speaking, you screw it up. Um, you're screwing up something that, uh, it's not like I can, I can just grab a fresh new piece of blank paper and have it wrapped around the book. You screw it up, you're screwing it up on the book. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. Um, so I was going to do... Um, uh, just pen and ink and I realized it's so simple I'm gonna add a very subtle amount of uh, watercolor to it oh I should also put on my little mic so it sounds a little bit better um, doo -doo -doo -doo. all right hope that sounds good so I'm gonna do just a little bit very limited amount of color uh, I'm gonna dry that out and then um, uh, ink over top of that so I got one of my one of my really old watercolor palettes. I, could, I got a smaller one that has the colors I really want to be using. Um, I generally stick to something close to the Zorn palette, which is uh, cadmium red light or cadmium red medium, um, uh, a, a yellow ochre, uh, a black, usually a, a cadmium, not cadmium. What am I saying? A lamp black, a very earthy black. Uh, or one that leans towards blue because there's no blue in this palette. Uh, some white paint for it, it's an oil oil palette for the most part. So it's it's white paint, yellow ochre, cadmium red, and black, and you mix all your colors from that. And um, it's a little uh, intimidating and daunting at first, but um, once you get used to the limited range of colors you can get from it, it just it just sings. Um, I did a bunch of watercolors. They're all on my on my Patreon still. Um, and uh, and they're fun to do. It's first opportunity I can, I'm gonna get back and do some more of them. So I'm literally I'm gonna be very very faint with the color. Uh, in fact, I'm probably gonna daub some off and, and go back and la layer it again if it. Uh, it doesn't stay on because I don't want to soak the page. I'm not going to treat this the way I would treat uh, uh, um, normal watercolors. I'm just going to scrumble in some color in there. Just enough for uh, so the black doesn't just carrying everything away. Just very, very subtle. Uh, in fact, I need to add some black to this as I want that sense of razor stubble so I need to get some of that gray going into that color yeah this paper's not taking the wet very well which is not bad because I'm not putting that much wet on just using an old uh, Japanese brush um, I just want some color sitting underneath all the black and white line work when I go in there. It's also going to make the pencil stick a little bit more, which is not really like a huge favorite thing, but uh, it'll work for this because it's, it's already a, a slightly toned stock. I don't know if you can tell with the webcam. It's, it's kind of got like a, a cream color to it. Up a little bit of a lizard in here. Just want a little bit more red and right around in here. I want the color to be underneath um, the black ink and, and be supporting what I'm doing here.
And if any of you guys missed it, um, it was uh, Mike Mignolo's Hellboy's 30th anniversary this this week, this weekend actually. So I ended up doing a really quick little, uh, well I wouldn't say quick, I ended up doing a, uh, a pen and ink uh, Hellboy drawing with uh, some heavy duty rubber stamps going on. Um, pulling up some graphite with this is pretty good. Um, let me... I'm daubing most of the, uh, most of the pigment out of the brush. So I just want a little bit of color going down. So I'm putting down a little bit of gray here on the hair. And I, I might go back in and paint some white highlights once I get this dark enough. All right, now I have to let that dry. Because <laughs> I'm not, probably not going to put even a little, another little speck of color on that. Um, until I actually ink it. Now, what I should do is I should uh, use my hair dryer on it. And uh, to do that, I'm going to mute it for a second here. Where's the mute on OBS again? Because I can do it on... YouTube, but for some reason it needed me to go through OBS today, which is which is weird. Never did that before. I don't see a hmm. It's you know I don't know where the mute button is on OBS. I'm sure it's somewhere really obvious. Controls. No, that's streaming. Scene transitions. I'm not tr transitioning anything. Is this is this the sound? Testing, testing. Mm. Hmm. Uh, well, you know what? Um, I'm gonna have to figure this out after stream. I'm just gonna make a little bit of noise for a few minutes uh, with this uh, hair dryer. Hopefully, it won't be too loud. lines. Give me a give me a five. Yeah, it's done a good job of uh, really cementing down the uh, the pencils here. Yeah, I'm going to be rendering the heck out of this one. It's a simple little headshot. Um, I'm still trying to get happy with my version of Conan for the for the uh, Savage Sword st Sword story I'm working on. Seems like it's taking me longer to get happy with it than I otherwise would. I mean, I've drawn a bunch of generic Conans over the years, you know, just you know standard barbarians, but it's it's. Uh, you know, when you finally get a chance to to draw the character you've always wanted to draw, 
Um, it's nice when uh, he's really in your hands. Anything I should, uh, the black, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at my monitor, it's, it's not showing me YouTube, it's showing me the, uh, the OBS monitor, but it looks like the black's doing the job it's supposed to do. I like putting scars on my Conan. Oh, the Conan story Jim Zub wrote. We are, we are doing so much damage to Conan. We are putting him through everything. I figure at some point I'm probably going to do uh, a panel or two on part of the live stream coming up. But uh, with no spoilers. But uh, you might see exactly how messed up we uh, we get Conan because he's he's gonna get messed up. He's gonna get messed up bad, baby. Fear it's um, so many times we we have these incredibly heroic tough guy characters and um, they beat their enemies way too easily, which means their enemies really aren't that much of a challenge. So Conan's facing a hell of a challenge um, on a, numerous levels in the story we're doing. It's it's pretty it's pretty damn incredible. Jim knows how to put together a great Conan yarn, so I'm really really happy that uh, this is how it's coming together. Might go over top of this with some brushwork after too. And tomorrow, I am going to be seeing uh, the last voyage of the Deme Demeter, Demeter, Dem Demeter, the uh, Dracula boat movie. Dracula on a boat, man. Um, really excited. Uh, it's it's a little put off. I was supposed to see it last week with my son, but I wasn't feeling right. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check it out tomorrow, like nice afternoon matinee with like as few people in the cinema as possible. A little bigger than that. Let's go a little bit bigger than that. Still love those big old hoop earrings that uh, Frazetta gave him. Gonna be probably inking a lot of hair over that, but I want the uh, the hoop to be as solidly drawn as possible when I, for whatever I I actually show. Might just be like the top highlights or something, but uh,
This always feels a little weird the, the way the line goes down on top of a watercolored surface. Seems to grab the paper surface a little differently. So, for the people who are watching, um, oh, wait, oh, there's comments. Uh, yeah, no gloss coating on the sketch cover. Well, thank you, thank you for liking the Hellboy. Um, yeah, Jim is Jim is perfect for this current age of of Conan. Um, do, 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 do. I want some hair on that. Give me some highlights. Some of this stuff is going to be brush. Do a little bit of brush work right now. Different light sources are throwing off uh, my values a bit, so I want to get some nice, nice real darks happening in here, so I can compare them a little bit better. I think I talked about this last week, where it's like when you're painting, one of the key things to make sure you get right is 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 seeing where your darkest darks and your lightest lights are. So by by really establishing some really good darks here. And uh, and this drawing with a little bit of color. I'll have an easier time inking it. I think this brush might be uh, about to die. Check the ink in it. Hmm. It looks all right. Maybe force some ink down the barrel. Well, nothing happened. We have to shift to a more traditional brush. You know what? Actually, a brush pen might be perfect for this. I can just find out where I stuck them. Anyhow. I yeah, ordered about 50 of these. Um, I've shown these pens before. Uh, Derek Robertson recommended it. It's a nice uh, brush marker. Yeah, it's starting to work out more what I want. I will do a little bit of erasing to pick up any excess graphite and pull out any highlights that uh, may not be showing up naturally. But uh, I think this is pretty much where I'm going to be setting the values at.
So I'm jumping over to good old fashioned uh, ink on a brush. It just seems that uh, to get the flow I want, I have to jump, jump ship, as it were. This is a really, really cheap brush. Um, I'll pick up a lot of brushes just so I can um, have them on hand to do whatever the hell I want with them. I don't care if uh, they get damaged or worn out or anything like that. That's, that's the case why I buy some cheap brushes. Um, the expensive brushes, well, they just get used for watercolor. actually that's a, that's that tells you it's a cheap brush and you're like dipping it in like full-on little reservoir of India ink and it's like ah, that seems like work a dry brush on top of that Rolling the brush so I can uh, go back in and fix stuff later. Okay, I didn't think through the, the laces on his shirt.
feels like it needs a little extra extra color in there because everything else went kind of subtle. Hmm. A little bit of color, very trying to be subtle with it. <laughs> well, that's not too loud. Throw a little bit of gray into the highlights in his hair, not to make him look old, but to. Push back some of the white. I mean, just as a headshot, it's going so quickly, I don't mind putting a little extra time in this. Um,
and I think I need a little bit. some of this color showing up it looks very I, I picked up the cheapest uh, laptop that could handle streaming for my streaming so the color quality on it is kind of garbage but my desktop which if I do like a almost a 120 degree turn from my drawing table I can see that it looks like the colors coming through it's uh, almost monochromatic Probably going to hit this with some uh, workable fixative. If you didn't know this, uh, colored pencils or pencil crayons, as we call them up here, are uh, waxed, wax carried medium. So you can do a little bit of uh, blending and smudging and stuff. It'll soften the colors, make them look less less grainy on the uh, So they smudge a little bit like a, a pencil would, but they don't erase. So it softens everything nice. Oh, yeah. It's also dulling off some of the ink shine that I, I got here, so that's good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let me put some more shrink bark down. Get some of this. pale blue even though I think I think it's canon that their eyes are gray.
<laughs> Maybe a drop or two of white paint, and I think it might be done. How are we doing time wise? Seven for one. This will be. This might be the first time I'm done in under an hour. Oh my gosh! Alert the media. All right, there we go. Full color Conan. Um, do I want to put my, I'm going to put another little scar on him. I'm going to use pencil because I want it to be a little more subtle. Stick that in there. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I want. I want to just darken this a bit more. I'm using this matte black pencil. I'm just pushing the values down a bit. All right, well, hopefully that shows up. Um, that is probably the fastest um, sketch so far. Some of that color going around a bit more. I'm even going to push back some of this white. A bit more pencil. Oh, the tweaking is happening. Anything that pops up too much gets pushed back. Well, uh, all I got to do now is um, hit it with some fixative, and it's done. So yeah, this is not a commission. This is again, this is like the last few pieces where uh, someone makes an offer for it. Um, it'll, it'll go to my food bank. Um, it's a sketch cover. I think I usually do sketch covers for like 150. Um, so if someone makes an offer of that, then uh, we're good to go. Just sign the sucker. All right, there it is. Uh, we are are done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna um, hit hit this with some fixative. Um, I'm gonna put some heavy books on it so it flattens a little bit more because there is because I use some wet media. There is a little bit of buckling, but uh, that'll flatten because I use it so dry. It's gonna flatten really easily. Um, that's it, guys. Um, hey, thanks, thanks, as in. I just looked over a slight comment. Apparently, there's a, a way to um leave the comments up on obs so i'll try and do that next time if i have to hook up this way next time um yeah so thanks everyone for coming i have no idea what i'm going to do next weekend yet um i i've been en enjoying putting stuff into the food bank uh so i might do another food bank thing 
um, or I might actually talk about Bridgman like I was planning to two weeks ago. Um, that's it. Everyone have a great week. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe my channel. It helps. I mean, I think I think when I hit 1,000 followers and 4,000 hours of watching, um, I can actually make a dime off of this, which, you know, it's nice, you know, being an artist, trying to multiply all your skills everywhere. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is quick take on Conan. There's going to be a lot more Conan for me in the near future. Oh, here's, here's the initial sketch. That, um, so what I did is I drew that and I flipped it and then I transferred it quickly with the pen. And, um, that's, that's how I ended up with that. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, please, uh, join me next week. Um, as I figure out what I'm going to draw, I'll probably make an announcement by Wednesday what I'm going to draw. And, um, or I might just do like a little tutorial on something. That might